So lately I've been seeing these cute caps from shops I love scrolling like Anthropology and Madewell and thinking to myself, oh, I want to look like a cute newsboy slash fisherman slash cabby too. Yay! So you know your girl had to try her hand at DIYing one and I am completely obsessed with the end result. Want to give it a try? To make one for yourself, here's what you'll need. One yard of your main fabric. I found this cord in the remnant section at my local fabric store. About a quarter yard of lining fabric. I just used a few scraps from a previous project. Two shank buttons. A brim insert. I got this one from Etsy. And your cap pattern pieces. Now those you're going to have to draft yourself and I'm going to show you how. Get yourself some paper. I used this wrapper from my toilet paper roll because I'm very professional. Now measure your head circumference. You're going to get this by wrapping a soft measuring tape around your head where you would wear your hat. Take that measurement and add an extra half an inch or so for ease of wearing. So for example, my head measured 21.5 inches plus the half of an inch gave me a head circumference of 22 inches. Now let's use that measurement to draft the cap crown pattern piece. To get the circumference of the cap crown, take your head measurement with the ease included and add 4. So for example, my measurement with ease was 22 inches, plus 4 is 26. Who says math is hard, you guys? We are so smart. Now let's find the radius of this measurement with some pi. Mmm, pi. JK, I'm just talking about good old 3.14. Use this equation to find your radius. I included my measurement for you to show you as an example, but you'd obviously replace my head measurements and plug in your own. Once you find your radius, as you can see, mine is 4 inches and some change. Add another quarter of an inch for your seam allowance. Mark a center point on your paper using a pen, then measure out from the center and mark the length of your radius plus seam allowance. Do this all the way around the center point to form an outline of a circle. Now you can loosely join the points with your pen and cut along the line. You'll get a cap crown pattern piece that should look something like this. Next, let's draft the sideband. This is the last little bit of math you'll need to do, and I know it looks a bit complicated, but I promise you, you totally got this. Okay, so all that said, let's just go ahead and do the dang thing. Start by using a ruler or another straight edge to form two perpendicular lines like this. Measure up one inch from the bottom corner and mark it with your pen. Now you'll need to take your head circumference with the ease added and divide it by four. So for me, 22 inches divided by four gave me a measurement of 5.5 inches. Find that point on your ruler and place it at the one inch mark you just created. Then find the zero point on your ruler and place that on the bottom line. Then trace a straight line from each point like this. Find the center point of the line you just created and measure up a quarter of an inch. Mark it with your pen. From this point, form a curved line down to both points. I used a French curve because it makes me feel super legit, but you can just as easily freehand it if you're cool like that. Okay, so from this curved line, measure up two and a half inches. The top curve should be a quarter of your cap crown circumference. So if you'll remember, mine was 26 inches divided by four is 6.5. The top of my curve measures six and a half inches and the bottom is a quarter of my head circumference, which is five and a half inches. Do you get it? You got it? Good. Now you can loosely join the points with your pen, mark one of your side edges as a fold line, cut that curvy baby out, and your second pattern piece should look something like this. Our third pattern piece is going to be the bottom band. That's this piece right here. This one is really easy. Just take your head circumference with the ease added and divide it in half. Here are my measurements for reference. Now use a ruler or other straight edge to form a rectangle that equals your halved measurement long by one inch wide. Cut that out, mark one of your sides as the fold line, and your pattern piece should look something like this. Lastly, let's make our brim pattern piece. Honestly, for this one, I took the easy route and just laid my brim insert and traced it onto my paper. Then I went around the entire thing and marked a quarter of an inch from the seam allowance, then connected the dots, cut the whole thing out, and that gave me my fourth pattern piece that looks something like this. Next, use your self-drafted pattern pieces to cut out your fabric as shown. Now let's get sewing. Start by laying the side band pieces of your main fabric on top of one another, right sides facing, and pinning them in place. Sew along both side seams using a quarter inch seam allowance. Iron or finger press your seams open, then top stitch them in place. 
it should look something like this. Pin the longer curve of the side band around the outer edge of the cap crown piece, right sides facing. Sew along the outer edge. Clip into the corners of the seams, making sure not to catch the stitching in order to help the seams lay flat. Then press them open and top stitch along the cap crown and side band close to the seam line. It should look something like this, except maybe a little less fuzzy. Seriously, why didn't anyone tell me that corduroy shed so much? There was fluff all over my sewing space bin after this project like nobody's business. Anyway, now let's work on the bottom band by folding one of the pieces in half lengthwise and sewing along the open edge. Press open the seam and top stitch it in place. Now match the sewn edge with one of the side seams of the cap band, right sides facing. Pin the bands together and sew around the open edge. You know the drill here, clip into the seams, press them down, and top stitch that bad boy. Now your cap should be looking something like this. Follow these exact same steps with your lining pieces in order to form, you know, the lining. To form the brim, place the two pattern pieces together, right sides facing, and pin along the bottom edge. Sew along the bottom curve only. Now, clip it to the seams, flip that whole dang thing right side out, and give it a good top stitch, babies. Your brim should look like my one here. Next, take your brim insert and, you know, insert it into the brim piece. Then sew it in place along the top edge. Now here, it's really important to get as close as you can to the plastic insert to really hold it in place. Just be sure to sew slowly so that you don't accidentally smash your needle on it. The time has come to attach the brim to the cap, people. Start by turning your cap inside out and bring the side seams together to find the center front of the hat. Mark the center with the tailor's chalk or water erasable pen. Then fold your brim piece in half and lay it on top of the fabric pieces to mark the center of the brim. Match the center points together with right sides facing, curve the bottom band of the cap along the inner edge of the brim piece and pin it in place. Sew along the curved edge. This part can get a bit fiddly with a plastic insert, so just go slowly, insert your needle and lift your presser foot to adjust your fabric if needed. You can even turn the hand crank to give yourself a little more control of the needle if it feels right. Just show no fear and you'll do great. Now let's attach the lining to the outer cap. Flip your lining inside out and lay it on top of the cap, right sides facing, enclosing the brim. Pin the bottom bands together, leaving a large enough gap for your brim to fit through later on. Sew the bottom bands together, taking it slow and steady once you get to the brim piece. The spot gets a little weird, so just remember to stop and check that you're not catching the bottom fabric of your cap as you're sewing. This is definitely the time to make any and all necessary adjustments as you go along. Now it is time to birth your cap. I promise it's not weird. It does literally look like you're giving birth to a cap though. Start by pulling the brim through the opening you left in the bottom bands and flip your cap right side out. Give your cap a good press if it's needed, then fold the opening of the bands closed and pin it in place. Either hand or machine stitch the opening closed. Next, we'll sew on our buttons. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are so close to the end. Sew on our buttons to either side of the cap front, just outside the outside edges of the brim. You can finish off the cap with a piece of rope, ribbon, or even leather, but I opted for a simple band sewn using my main fabric. To make this, I cut two pieces of fabric measuring nine and a half inches long by one and a half inches. I then laid them together right sides facing and pinned in place and sewed all around making sure to leave one of the shorter edges open. Next, I trimmed the corners in any excess fabric and used a pencil to flip my fabric tube right side out, which was um fun. The cap came off in, in the tube. <laughs> Again, she's a professional, folks. <laughs> Once I was done, I pressed my fabric flat, folded in the edges of the open side, and top stitched along the outside edge, making sure to sew the opening closed. I machine stitched two buttonholes on either side of the band, though you could also opt to make them by hand. Then I fastened the band to the buttons on the cap, and with that, my Baker Boy cap was done. 
So how does it look? If you enjoyed sewing this cap with me today, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so we can keep making fun stuff together. Also, please do me a solid in the comments and let me know what the heck you call this thing. Like, is it a newsboy cap, a fisherman's cap, baker boy? Like, I don't even know what it is. Anyway, whatever you call it, it's freaking adorable and I can't wait to sew another one. Oh, and if you love free sewing patterns, make sure to check out this video next. I'll see you over there, but until then, I love you and appreciate you for watching and as always, happy making! Bye guys.